and then there was a pole barn to the back side of it and uh, that was all taken and then there was a quonset for cold storage alongside this heated shop so you had a fair number of buildings then you had storage too right yeah 21 green bins <laughs> My goodness. Where were they? Uh, there was a double roll right here behind the semi. Uh -huh. you know, I wanted to come and say thank you to Farm Rescue for helping out when people are in need. And this is a perfect example. Dennis has suffered this incredible blow from the tornado. You can see his place is pretty well wiped out. And uh, Farm Rescue and Bill Gross have organized people from around the country really to come and pitch in and help out. This really is I think deep in North Dakota character. When people suffer a loss, when somebody's sick, uh, the neighbors rally round. That's the history of our state and it's a great example for the rest of the country. Volunteers who come forward themselves have a great experience. Uh, I've had so many volunteers tell me it's one of the most meaningful things they've done in their life uh, to volunteer to help somebody that's suffered. And you know, you see that here today. Volunteers from all around the country come to North Dakota. Of course, a lot of North Dakotans too. And uh, I, I think you'll be proud you did it and it'll leave you with a good feeling. I'd like to thank uh, RDO Equipment and all the sponsors of Farm Rescue. You know, you're doing the Lord's work. None of the government programs will make people whole who suffer a disaster like this. So your stepping forward as good neighbors, I think sends a good message and is a good example for everyone. People are always gonna suffer disasters, you know? That's uh, something we always confront. But to have neighbors step forward and say, we're gonna be there for you, it means a lot. So if you're thinking about sponsoring uh, some charitable operation, Farm Rescue is a winner. This makes a difference, and it makes a difference in the lives of a lot of people. And that's what's happening here today.